Hello, Natalia. Hello, good evening. Um, Can you hear me well now? Yes, I hear you. What about now? Same? I, I hear some noises. Yes, where are we coming from? Mm. Okay. Uh, welcome, Natalia. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And we have some new students. Olga. Hello, yeah. Olga. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How's it going, Olga? Can Can you listen me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. And um, Sergey. Hello, Sergey. Your microphone is muted, uh, Sergey. I can't hear you. Hello, everyone. Ah, uh, now I can hear you. Hello, welcome. Um, and uh, is it Ahmed? Yes. Hello. Hi, Hi Ahmed. How are you? Uh, it's all right. And you? Not too bad. Not too bad. And Natalie, welcome back. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good to see you back. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, and another student has joined. Um, hello to the new students. Sorry, I can't read those letters. Vlada. 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 Okay, good. Thank you, Natalia. Vlada, hello. Okay, we don't hear Vlada. Um, okay, so we have some new students again. Um, welcome to English Journey. My name is Alan. I'm your English teacher. And I will focus on improving your English speaking skills. Okay? Uh, so let's have a look. Who do we have here? I want to hear some introductions. So Ahmed, can you tell me something about yourself? Where are you from? Uh, what do you do? What are your hobbies? So, uh, I'm from Russia. I like rap music and I learned English for long ago. And I'd like to do my English to speak better. Okay, good. Nice. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, I like history. Oh, you like history. Have you studied um, British history or American history? Everywhere. Oh, so you, you like international history, yeah? Yes. Well, very good. Okay, thank you. And Sergey, Sergey, tell us something about yourself. Uh, hello, everyone, again. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, I'm learning your side, 20 years old. Um, and what else interests in you? <laughs> um, what hobbies do you have? Do you have any hobbies? What do you like to do in your spare time? My hobby is studying English. It's my fun and a bit for fun. Oh, it's just for fun. So you want to um, be able to speak fluently and. Uh, I have many friends from USA. So oh, cool. Communication or visa. Nice. Would you like to travel to the US ever in the future? Uh, maybe one day. Who knows? That's good, yes. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much, Sergey. Um, hello, Renat, welcome, and welcome, Lena. Nice to see you guys. Hi. Hello. hello. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we're just going through some of the uh, new student introductions. Okay. And Olga is the other new student. Hello, Olga. Tell us something about yourself, please. Uh, hello, everybody. Yeah, uh, I'm Olga. I am from Russia. I live near Moscow, uh, and um, I am a compensation and benefits manager in the Ein Company, uh, which uh, sell uh, which uh, sells equipment for mining industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, 
I work in um, by the international company, and uh, uh, I need uh, English um, uh, for my work. Uh, and um, um, uh, I <laughs> actually <laughs> I learn uh, I've been learning English <laughs> for many years, <laughs> uh, but um, uh, I think um, um, I. Uh, I have um, a little um, possibility to speak, and I think uh, I I have improve I have uh, to improve my English, um, and uh, it's very interesting to participate in this uh, conference. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. So this is something new for you. You haven't done this before online. Um, yeah, I um, I I've been learning my Eng uh, English. Um, uh, via Skype, uh, uh, via um, telephone, actually, okay. in, uh, on the telephone uh, with, nat uh, with native speaker. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, but uh, it was uh, uh, one year <laughs> ago, and uh, now I, 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 I want to <laughs> to improve my English. Excellent. And, uh, with, uh, Speaking with native me. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you've come to the right place, Olga. I'm happy you are here. Uh, and sorry. yeah, um, yeah. I said I'm happy you're here. You've come to the right place, and uh, I hope that I can be of benefit to you. And um, okay, so I think that's all pretty much. Uh, Vlada, we didn't hear anything for you from you. Vlad, are you there? Your microphone is still muted. Nope, no luck from Vlad. Okay, maybe Vlad is a bit shy. I want to just listen. So, uh, my dear new students, um, like I said, I will focus or I focus on speaking um, here at this um, English Journey uh, School, and. This is an intermediate level class that we're going to do now. I also do other levels. And um, for today, we're going, we're going to read an article. And we will discuss this article. Uh, we're talking about famous things. Um, I also do cover IELTS preparation, but that's during other days. So. Uh, maybe we can start. I see another student has joined. We're having nine students almost every night now. Hello, Alex. Hello. Welcome back. I think I remember you. Yes. Yes, <laughs> you're, you're that bright student. Yes. How's it going? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very well, very well. Have you started school yet? Yes. When did you start your school? Uh, at the first of the at the first of September. Excellent. Yes, it's the same here in the UK. Uh, well, actually, the third, I think, they started. <clears throat> okay, so you must be very busy now with all the homeworks. You're being bombarded with homework. No. No, not yet. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, don't don't be afraid. I'm not gonna give you homework either. So. Okay, so let's get started, guys. So what I'm going to do now um, is screen share this PDF, okay, document and a PDF file. <clears throat> so we're talking about blue jeans. Yeah, blue jeans. And it says here, jeans represent democracy in fashion. Who said that? Giorgio Armani. Interesting. <laughs> How he likes to mix politics with uh, fashion. Um, so, uh, before we go through the vocabulary, <clears throat> uh, let's discuss this uh, topic. So, I want to know what your favorite brand of jeans is, or your favorite make. Or designer brand, like they say. 
and why? Natalia? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't have one like, likely brand. Uh, it's, um, maybe if, uh, if some trousers uh, comfortable for me, Mm -hmm. I see. So you um, you wouldn't necessarily follow a certain brand. Uh, rather, you would wear jeans that are comfortable. It doesn't matter what name they, are, they have, right? Yes. Good. Good. Okay. What about um, Ahmed? Do you like jeans? What kind of brand? It's the most comfortable trousers for me. Good. So you also prefer comfort rather than um, the branding. Okay. Good. Yes. What about the other students, Lena? Uh, I used to wear uh, uh, jeans, but now no. <laughs> Not anymore. Yes, I prefer Crocs. Mm -hmm. so I don't wear jeans and rather. Is it because of fashion? Because maybe the, the trend the trend is different or just comfort? So a comfort and just my I don't know. I don't like jeans. <laughs> oh so you've lost interest in jeans. Okay. Alright. So, Rinat, do you do you wear jeans a lot? I think I would agree with Natalia and uh who was the second? I don't know, I forgot. And uh, I more prefer this uh, convenient jeans, but of course I like uh, this brand called Dressman. It is, it's maybe not brand, it is the name of this very big mall uh, uh -huh. company which sells these jeans. Yes. And uh, in like this place I could find best jeans. jeans. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, because of uh, of my occupation, we don't allow it to wear jeans in our work. So we can wear jeans for our like uh, out of work time only. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not. Of course, I like jeans, but I'm not so choosy. Mm. Yeah, it really depends, you're right. Um, me personally, if you were to ask me, I, um, I've i tried both. I've tried the branded, the, the you know, designer brands. Uh, and I've tried, you know, the cheaper budget ones as well. However, I do have to say that, you know, the designer brand jeans, they do have really high quality. And they do last a lot longer. Yes, I agree. So usually, if you can maybe sometimes find um, a good sale, like specials on jeans, maybe they have like thirty percent off or even fifty percent off. That will be a bargain. So those are the good good times to shop. Um, all right. So yeah, I think you already mentioned this, Rinat. When or where are blue jeans inappropriate? So uh, work, depending what kind of work you do, where else are jeans inappropriate? By the way, what's inappropriate? Who can explain this word for me? Not suitable. It's suitable to wear another things. For example, in official meetings, it depends on the culture too, I think. Oh, in good official point. Meetings, we avoid to wear jeans. By wearing jeans, you showing yourself like uh, not uh, not approaching very seriously. You know, jeans is for the general people, but when it is special occasion, when the very important politicians meet each other, then in official meetings, then I think it is inappropriate, in not so suitable. Yes, but, but there are no any rules. Yeah, it is inappropriate or appropriate, but we have to just feel it ourselves. It's called aesthetics. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. 
But if you think about it, isn't it ironic? Um, so you probably wouldn't wear jeans at an interview if you're going for work. Why? Because it's inappropriate. But who says it's inappropriate? The society says it's inappropriate. Society uh -huh. uh, builds the rules <laughs> for which they have to like obedient. Yes. So what's appropriate to wear for an interview? Let's say from a male's perspective and then maybe from a female's perspective. Let's say you're going for a business uh, interview. You want to be involved in business or accounting or something like that. Well, you would say about our culture, I think it's uh, similar maybe with Russian culture. Uh, to wearing jeans for women, for women, it is a little bit inappropriate. Mm -hmm. It's for, uh, more suitable to wear, I don't know how it's, sh shirts? Yeah. For women's clothes. Skirts, uh, or skirts? A skirt or a dress? Yeah. Or... Yeah, dress. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to type it. Yeah, it's only my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but I think like that. Mm. Or trousers. Trousers is um, usually what you would call these, you know, the dark business trousers. So even ladies wear them nowadays. Yeah, what I was trying to lead to is that these have the same shape, really, as trousers. They only are a different color. But you can get dark jeans, yeah, like the black ones. And still, it would be inappropriate. So that's interesting. Okay, well, maybe we'll cover that shortly. Um, but tell me, why do you think people like wearing blue jeans, though? I don't know uh, between the what the difference between the colors. Maybe jeans. It is because very convenient. It is a uh, long. It's lost a long time. We can wear it for one or two years, and it is not very weak material. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't have any idea why it is blue. Maybe it was appeared first. All right. Let me ask you another question. Sorry, I think was it Lena? Did you want to say something? Well, I like to say that uh, some people just like uh, how it uh, fits, uh, um, how, how uh, they look like. Uh, ah, so you're saying some people like how they um, look like in jeans, yeah, how they appear yes, yes. in public. Okay, good. So you might suit them. Yes, and of course, uh, um, modern. modern. Yeah, it's modern. It's fashionable. Okay. Now, here's the question. How did the genes originate? How do they come up? Where, when, who invented genes? I don't uh, remember who invented and... Uh, I know. Uh, but if I uh, if I am right, uh, it was uh, uh, um, originally a uh, uh, work. Uh, yes? Yeah, workers uniform. Yes, yes. But what type of workers? Um, builders, huh? No. Close, close. Okay, who knows? Thomas Wright. Thomas. Yeah, well done, Ahmed. Farmers, which farmers? Where? It was uh, made in uh, 1853. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good, good. You know your history. Rinat says cowboys. Okay. Yeah, yes. Uh, because we, uh, they are not expensive and everybody can afford it. Yes, good. Okay, so that's pretty much yeah. That you're on the right track of finding out how they originated. So let's have a look at the vocabulary, and after that we will read the article and find out more about blue jeans. Blue jeans. Okay, so here we have ten vocabulary words on the left, 
and I want you to match them to the meanings on the right, as always. So you might know some of these, some you might not know. So let's start from Alex on the left. Alex, tell me, what's number one? Uh, uh, what is what's yeah so you have to this is durability durability find the meaning on the right side which uh, what's the correct description on the right of durability Sorry, you, you, you're muted. You have muted yourself or somebody may have muted you. We can't hear you. Uh, what is it, durability? Okay, so you, ha you haven't heard this word before. Okay, that's good. Yes. Has anyone heard this word before? Yes, I can. I have heard this. I have heard okay. this word. Oh, okay, uh, Rinat, I want you to try and explain this word in your own words. Don't use any of the uh, the meanings, or don't use the meaning here, yeah? but your own words. Ah. So Alex can uh -huh. understand, and then I want Alex to find the meaning. Uh, durability means you can use this word for a very long time because of its high quality. You can use this for years and years. In this example, like oh, okay, a gym. okay. I I think I I know it. Okay, okay. Thank you, Renat. I think it's. I think it's uh, strong. Ash. H. Hmm. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's yeah. close, really. It's close. It's close, but <laughs> durability is uh, quality. So you have to just paraphrase this word, maybe. Mm -hmm. Good. So we're looking for a noun. Strong is not a noun, strong. right? Yeah, yeah, strong is an adge adge adjective. Yes, good. It's an adjective. So what's the noun of strong, Alex? Strong. It's also. If you say um, these genes, they have. Yeah, you can find it here. Have good durability, or. The meaning would be, Rinat, you can tell us now if you want. Can I tell? Yes. It's C. Strength. 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 Very good. Strength. So Alex, you already found it. Alex, okay. 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 Do you want to give us a sentence, Alex? Can you make up a sentence with durability? Durability. Uh, uh, I like to wear uh, durability jeans. Oh, now you need to find make durability an adjective. How would you make durability an adjective in your sentence? So I like to wear. Uh, I like to wear. Uh, yeah. Durability jeans. Durability jeans. Okay, in, in, if you want to use the word durability, you can say, I like to wear jeans with durability. I like to wear jeans with durability. Yeah. But if you want to make durability an adjective, who knows what the adjective is of durability? Uh, durability. Uh, Sergey, do you know? No, I'm not. I'm not sure. Olga, what's the adjective of durability? I 
Okay. Uh, durable. Yes, durable. Yes, Serena has written it in the chat. You can see it in the chat. Durable. I like to wear durable jeans. Durable. Okay? That's going to be the adjective if you want to use it. Mm -hmm. Durable. Alan, can we uh, use this word when when we said about uh, r relation? Dura du du uh, dur durable durable relationship? Can we? Um, not really. Not, it's a very durable relationship. Okay. What exactly do you want to? Uh, Exp or mean? What do, exactly do you mean by by that? What are you trying to say? A strong friendship. Maybe. Mm, yeah. Well, in, in this case, if you say durable relationship, that would mean long lasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to explain that our uh, bond, our connection is very strong between you and your friend, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, you would say we have a very strong relationship, yeah. Because if you use durable relationship in this case, it means it's long-lasting. It will last a long time. Oh, okay. There's a slight difference if you use it with relationship, okay? Okay. But with uh, material things, tangible things that you can touch with your hands that you can feel, you can use durable because, for example. The new iPhone 6, I don't know if you've watched any of the videos I have, it's supposed to be a very durable phone. Actually, as a matter of fact, today I watched a video where somebody did a drop test. I it for you. So they've taken the iPhone and dropped it on the ground, on concrete ground, to test the durability of that phone. Mm -hmm. So things like that, you can say durable. They are very durable. And it didn't break. Yeah, the screen, the display did not break. All right? Yes, yeah, thank you. No problem. Let's move on to the second one. Lena? Uh, patent. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, patent uh, is... Um, uh, Ah, it's a verb in this case. Uh, it's um, uh, to obtain uh, a license uh, to the rights uh, of one's unique uh, invention. Good. A patent is... Um, a yeah, or to patent, to obtain a license to the rights of one's unique invention. But could it be a noun as well? Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it can be a noun or a verb. How would you make a sentence with patent? Oh. Um. Well, is this difficult to me? Ah, you don't, you're not a big fan of making sentences, huh? Yes. Okay, Rinat has given us a sentence. Good. I have invented two things and got my patent for them. Perfect. This is a very good sentence. Actually, I'll give you 99%, Rinat. I didn't give you 100% because you forgot the full stop at the end. <laughs> no, but it's a very good example, yeah? So he got the patent for them. The patent here is the noun. Um, another example I can give you when comparing, you know, the smartphone industry between Apple and Samsung, they are constantly going to the courts, yeah, because they are suing one another, because they have broken some of their patent rights. Okay, for example. All right, next one. Natalia, number three. Uh, st steady. Sturdy. 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 Age strong? Maybe? Yes, you're right. It's going to be strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, 
How do you study? And what about this? What is about relation? About family, maybe? Um. Can can I speak? My my parents ha have a st steady family. They have a sturdy family. Um, let's see. Uh, usually, when you use sturdy, um, you would be talking about physical things that you can, you know, maybe touch or feel, mm -hmm. yeah, tangible, mm -hmm. tangible things. Um, you might say that um, he has. Um, he has a very sturdy physique. Mm -hmm. Okay, he is a he has a very sturdy or muscular physique. So he's very strong looking. Yeah, he's very sturdy. He's tough. So if you're uh, describing somebody's uh, physical appearance and their body, you can say he has a very sturdy physique. Oh, I know. In my country, every factory. Um, made a very ste steady shoes. Yeah? yeah, okay, you can say that, yeah. So that means solid, well made, strong. It doesn't, uh, it's similar to durable, yeah, but sturdy might mean a little bit hard. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm, okay. Okay, another synonym maybe you can say robust, mm, tough, vigorous, and so on. Well built. These are all synonyms of sturdy. Okay? But your example is very good. Yeah, you can use shoes as well. Mm -hmm. Number four Olga? Uh, rebellion. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, an act of resistance against authority. Good. An act of resistance against authority. Very good. So, what is this? A verb? A noun? An adjective? Uh, noun. Good. It's a noun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you give me a sentence with rebellion? Um, mm. Uh, we have uh, now uh, uh, a rebellion in Ukraine. Yes, yes. <laughs> good, yeah, very good example. It matches the time. So what's another word for rebellion or another synonym or synonym? Um, mm, crushing, to crush, to, to put down. Mm, not really. No. Re revolution, maybe. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I was looking for. Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. Or you could say, let's say, uprising. Uprising or revolt. Revolt is another good um, synonym for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Number five, are you not? Ban. Uh, Ban <clears throat> it is to forbid, I think. To disallow or remove. Okay. Yes, exactly. So to disallow or to remove. Mm -hmm. That's a ban. Give us a magical sentence. Ban. Mm -hmm. Because of because of uh, because of the uh, prices increasing prices uh, for gasoline, our government banned to export any gasoline from our country. Yes, very good. Yeah, so they banned the export of oil 
Yeah, or gasoline. Right. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's a good example. Okay, number six. Sergey? But you're not said solidarity already? Hmm? So um, no, he said ban. Oh, okay. Solidarity. Uh, is cello removed? No. A? Sorry. The A? Or A? Not? No. Togetherness? Yes, you're right. It's D. Togetherness. Did you know that this word even existed? Has anyone heard this word, togetherness? Don't know, no, no, not. What's, give me another word for solidarity or togetherness. Friendshipness, tolerantness. Toleration. Toleration, yeah. Mm, no. Ahmed, Ahmed, what did you say? Good relationships with somebody. Good relationship, yes, yes. This it's connected to that. But I'm looking for one word. It's a very short word. Contact. And no. No. It starts with the letter U. Unity. Yes. So this is like unity, solidarity. We are together, we are united. Like UK. Sorry? Like UK. United like, Kingdom. Yeah, well, uh, lately, I don't know. I don't know if you're following the, the news between uh, Scotland and Scotland doesn't want to be uh, oh, yeah. uh, together with, the, with, the, with England anymore. UK. They want to go independent, so. Disobedient. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Scotland is showing solidarity among their own people, the Scottish people, yeah, because they want independence. So they have to be united and say that we want to be an independent nation. Okay. For example. Great example. Yeah. <laughs> Sergey, do you want to give us another example? Uh, I don't know. You did already. <laughs> okay, no problem. I made the best example. <laughs> no problems. All right, let's do the next one then. Ahmed. Uh, sloppy. And uh, J. And cat not easy. Yes, you're right. J. Unkept or untidy. You can even say untidy or not tidy. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this word before, Ahmed? Sloppy. Yes. Has anyone heard of this word, sloppy? No. Yes. Alex, you've heard about it, yeah? Yes. Okay, Ahmed, can you give me an example of sloppy? Uh, so, uh, my uh, sister uh, brought uh, an umbrella uh, and it was sloppy because of rain. Ah, I see. So you are using the other one. I see. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is the, uh, the other meaning actually, another adjective, which is um, like too wet, when something is too yes. wet. Yes. Very, very watery, yeah? Good. But in this case, we might, it might be a different meaning. Yeah, when, when someone is not tidy or unkept, yeah, they are sloppy. Maybe you can say that their work is very sloppy. Yeah? Um, for example, let's look at football, yeah? Let's look at football. Lately, Arsenal, my favorite team, have been playing in a very sloppy way because they, have, they haven't won a match lately. They lost against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. So their performance was very sloppy. Sloppy as in 
not tidy, it wasn't organized, very poor performance, and so on. Yeah? You can use it as, as that, in that sense. Okay, next one. I I Sorry, Alex, is it your turn? Hi. Yep, go ahead, number eight. Partial statement. Uh, I think it's I. Uh, made by well known uh, fashion brands. So, um, yeah, it's E. What was your sentence? I didn't catch it. My sentence is. Uh, 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 the Lombar Lombardini is a fashion uh, statement. Oh, good. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yes, it's a very, um, yeah, eye-catching car, isn't it? The La Lamborghini, in English it's a Lamborghini, is a very eye-catching car, and it's not for everyone. Not everyone can afford a Lamborghini. <laughs> yes, and... Um, but if you say a fashion statement, um, usually you would look, refer to clothing, the clothes oh. that you wear, so or shoes. Nike, Nike is uh, uh, is a fashion uh, statement uh, mark. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. Uh, Nike is a fashion statement mark. Oh, you mean um, okay, Nike, yeah, or Nike, yeah, is a fashion statement. Um, maybe not the company. I don't think you can say the company is a fashion statement, but maybe you can say uh, Nike's latest uh, football boots or soccer boots, soccer shoes, yeah. They are making a fashion statement. As you can see, there are all sorts of colors. Pink, purple, um, bright yellow. Yeah, like Cristiano Ronaldo, he's wearing, I think, pink or purple Nike boots or shoes. Yeah, So that's making a fashion statement. OK? OK, next one. Lena? Um, designer. Uh, it's a. Uh, um, uh, it's a profession, but I don't see it. Um, Ah, a personal expression made through one's uh, clothing? No. Mm -hmm. uh. So we only have um, G and I left. Ah, but who are designer? <laughs> Uh, well, made by well-known uh, fashion. Yes. Brands. Uh, so designer here. Mm -hmm. I confused. <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, it's not talking about the person who is the designer. Ah. It, it's actually an adjective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually after this word, you will have brand. So designer brand. Mm. What's a designer brand? Gucci, Calvin Klein, Louis Vuitton, all these are designer brands. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what designer means in this context. Okay, and the last one, Natalia? Baggy. Baggy, the last word is loose? Yes. But. Okay, who has heard of this word before? Who knows what baggy means? 
I know. Yeah? Mm. yeah. Can Ser Sergey uh, give, give me a sentence with Baggy? It's when something is bigger than your size, then you wear something bigger than your size. Very good. Means Baggy. Mm. Yeah. I'm correct. And not always. Um, it can be your size, but just baggy, loose. You know, for example, if you wear, nowadays, a lot of the jeans are very tight fit. They're very slim, tight fit, okay? So they're the opposite of loose or baggy. Baggy, when it's very loose, it's hanging. Um, for example, if you look at, um, let's say, some of the celebrities, the rappers, yeah, the rappers, they usually wear, yeah, <laughs> Rina read my mind. <laughs> yeah, the rappers, they tend to wear baggy jeans or baggy trousers. And when they're loose, they're not very tight. But always, um, it can be your size. Okay, I can hear myself from the past. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Nowadays, a lot of the jeans are very tight fit. Oh, where, where's it coming from? Tight fit, okay? Well, Somebody cool. has two videos, I think. Olga, maybe? Watching video. Olga, you might have to close your, your second video. You have two videos open. Um, yeah, I try to. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So. Those were the words. Let's not read quickly. We're running out of time. We've got only 10 minutes. So there are seven of you, and we have seven paragraphs. Isn't that beautiful? OK. Ahmed, you can start the first paragraph, please. OK. Uh, some people wear jeans because they think they make them look cool. Others wear jeans for comfort or durability. Regardless of the reason, jeans, also known as the uh, name uh, popular and fashionable around the world. Very good. Yeah, well read. Denim, denim is another word that we can use for jeans. Like you can have denim jackets. Yeah, denim uh, shirts and so on. Doesn't have to be jeans only. Okay, second one, Sergey. The first Americans who wear blue jeans were miners and. Ranchers in the West. Ranchers is like farmers, yeah? Ahmed already mentioned it. But also miners. Okay, continue, Sergei. In the West, in the 1960s, jeans were known as waist overalls and were made by Levis Strauss and, and Co. Levis Strauss were a German born New Yorker who moved moved to California during the gold rush and in 1973 he were nerd with Jacob Davis to patent pants with rivets. Rivets are the tiny metal buttons on the pocket jeans themes of jeans. The purpose of the rivets is to make the same sturdier. Ah, well done. Do you remember the word sturdier? What will sturdier mean? I don't know. Sturdy. Hard. Hard. Something strong? Yes, well done, Sergey. You get a high five from me. Excellent. So, to make them sturdier, this is the comparative, yeah? Make them stronger. Good. Okay, Rinat, number three. During World War II, women wore denim overalls while working in factories. Rosie in Riveter Re was a song about a woman who did her part for the American war effort. Rosie became an icon for... Uh, who inspired women to work while the men were away. In posters and ads, Rosie was usually dressed in the new overalls. Very good. Thank you. Well read. Olga, number four. Olga, you're muted. Your microphone is muted. Are 
Are you there, Olga? Your microphone uh, button is at the very top of the of the vid uh, video. In case you can't find it. Okay, maybe we'll come back to Olga. Natalia, number four, please. In the 1950s, blue dreams were associated with re rebellion. When shoes began banning jeans, this style of pants became even more attractive to young people. At some point, jeans in the wild one, while James Dean wore them in rebel without a soul. This time, the word jeans is very popular. Nobody calls these pants overalls anymore. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, well read. Number five, Lena. Uh, in the uh, uh, 1960s, uh, wearing blue jeans was uh, a sign of uh, solidarity uh, mm -hmm. between uh, America's uh, working class and the middle class. Uh, the middle class wanted uh, to show the uh, uh, government that uh, they didn't support uh, the Vietnam War. Um, many college uh, students uh, also wore uh, jeans while... Uh, Very good! So maybe we should all gather and go to work with our jeans instead of the office uniform, yeah? <laughs> As a sign of rebellion. For a change. Okay, number six, Alex. <clears throat> In the fifties. Uh, uh, number six. Sorry, we're doing number six. Ah, okay. In the fifties and sixties, American women were dressing totally. If they wore jeans in the nineteen seventies, when women began wearing denim again, for some it was an act of rebellion. For others, it was a fashion statement. Many different styles of jeans emerged, emerged, including flares and well. Buttons. Mm -hmm. Well done. This word we yeah. pronounce criticized. Criticized. Yeah. So American women were criticized for dressing sloppily if they wore jeans. So they were criticized for being untidy. Yeah. If they were wearing jeans. Okay. And the last paragraph, Ahmed. So, um, the 1980s was the era of designer jeans. Since then, many fads have come and gone. Uh, today, many designers have adopted an anything goes attitude. Jeans are designed uh, for different gender, size, age, body types, and purposes. While some people love wearing jeans that fit a uh, fight to the bodies, others uh, prefer baggy style. Today, uh, today's jeans uh, are also available in any color imaginable. Styles, any washes uh, that went out of fashion have come back in. Mm, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well read, all of you. Um, so we don't have much time. So what I'll try and do is maybe... Okay, let's do these last. Okay, I want you to spot the error. Or maybe we can do... Yeah. Spot the error in these sentences here. On the left. So there is a mistake in each sentence. I want you to find the mistake. So the first one. Who can see the mistake in the first sentence? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Which one? Go ahead, tell me. Many workers. This will uh, not be uh, many. It will be a lot of, I think. 
Ah, so you think it's a grammatical mistake? Yeah. Mm, no. You can say many workers. That's uh, fine. Can I say something? Okay, Ahmed, yes? Uh, it seems to me that uh, error is in the word sloppy. Because workers uh, won't wear sloppy jeans because it is comfortable for them. Very good. So, what word will you use instead of sloppy? Slop, uh, uh, is uh, comfortable. Mm, comfortable. Uh, in this case, workers, I think they're talking about laborers, you know, workers who are doing physical work, you know, like hard work. Yes. So. Uh, they have to wear comfortable clothes. Okay, comfortable, or what's the other word that we learned? Uh, when it's really strong. I'm now. A strong, uh, so, sturdy. Yeah, good, sturdy. Sturdy, yes. Excellent, so we're going to use sturdy here, instead of sloppy, good. What about the second one? Okay, Alex, tell me. Uh, from over the world, war. Uh, it's not war, it's uh, war. War. Um, grammatical mistake. No, no. This is actually correct. Oh, yeah. So there's there's no no grammatical mistake again. So yeah. in yeah. Uh, this mistake about the year. Uh, it seems to me that in twenty uh, one uh, century people began to uh, design new jeans. Ah, uh, so you think the mistake is in the year? Maybe. No. No. May Maybe not sporting. No, yeah. that's a, yeah, good. This is actually a common expression to use. So in the 1980s, people all over the world were sporting. Sporting here means like they were favoring, or they liked. Yeah. 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 So do we? So people all over the world were sporting designing jeans. Do we say designing jeans? Uh, statement. No. Fashion statement. No. Do we say uh, they enjoyed designing jeans? Enjoy it. Maybe. Okay, so if you want to buy Gucci jeans, what type what type of jeans are those? Gucci. Are they cheap jeans? Expensive. Yes, so we have a name for this. What's the other or similar word to brand? It's right here, but you have to change something. Design. Ah, designer. Yes, Lena, well done. Designer jeans. Yeah, designer jeans. This is uh, something you will have to remember. Okay. Yeah, so if someone's asking you, oh, what kind of jeans are you wearing? They look really nice. You can say, oh, these are designer jeans. They are? Yeah. Levi or Lee or something like that, okay? All right, we're going to have to end it now because we've gone over our time. So what I will do, you can do this in your spare time, actually, okay? So I will give you the link for this, and then you can download it and save it in your documents and practice. Okay, so just give me a second. I will open it now and share it with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is in the chat. 
So you can download it and save it and then practice because there's a few more things that you can benefit from. There's another activity here on the right, a bit of grammar, comparative adjectives. Do we say more or do we say ER? So do we say sturdier or more sturdy and so on. So you can practice this. And then at the end you have some answers. At the very last page you can see the answers if you're correct or if you were incorrect. Okay, any questions? No. No. All understood. Marvelous. Okay. Thank you very much for joining. Nice to see you all. Sergey, nice to meet you. And, and uh, Ahmed. And I hope to see you soon. Yes, I hope it too. It was such an interesting lesson. No problems. You're most welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, no problem. You're welcome, Sergey. Okay, take care guys. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.